friends Ian Stewart a great mathematician quotes that mathematics is the science of patterns In mathematics we often look for patterns to formulate something and now try to find the common pattern in all these numbers In all these numbers what we can observe is they have been represented in the form of an integer divided by another integer that is in the form of p by q numbers which can be represented in this form are known as rational numbers so numbers which can be represented in the form p by q are called rational numbers now there are some conditions that must be satisfied by both p and q the first condition is both p and q must be integers and the second condition is the integer q should never be equal to 0 now why is that q shouldn't be zero if q is zero then the resulting number p by q will be undefined remember that any number divided by zero is not infinity it's undefined so numbers of the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero are rational numbers now this definition of rational numbers leads to another question which is if there are numbers that can be represented in p by q form then are there numbers which cannot be represented in p by q form the answer is yes there are numbers which cannot be represented in the form p by q and they are given the name irrational numbers now the question that we should ask ourselves is how did they manage to invent these irrational numbers because these numbers are not intuitive like integers and rational numbers the road to inventing these irrational numbers is very interesting the credit goes to both pythagoras and hypothesis we all know that pythagoras gave us the famous pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle which is the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides however the members of the pythagorean society encountered with a new number when they considered both the legs of the right angle triangle to be of unit length the hypotenuse came out to be square root of 2 units for all of them it was a quite new number and for some time they thought this number square root of 2 can be represented in p by q form so they considered it to be a rational number later hypothesis a member of pythagorean society proved that square root of 2 cannot be represented in p by q form some historians mention that instead of rewarding hypothesis pythagorean society members killed him claiming that his works were immoral very sad isn't it but later they realized their mistake some other examples of irrational numbers are square root of 3 square root of 15 and pi wait a minute is pi an irrational number yes pi is an irrational number but we often use pi equal to 22 by 7 which is in p by q form then pi must be a rational number right no the value of pi is not exactly equal to 22 by 7 we just use it for calculation purposes so friends we define both rational numbers and irrational numbers now both these rational numbers and irrational numbers together are known as real numbers in our next video we will be trying to represent real numbers on the line as of now let's summarize what we have learned so far a number which can be represented in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is a rational number a number that cannot be expressed in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is known as an irrational number rational numbers and irrational numbers together form real numbers